Okay, so Mardi Gras is over. It is finished. Um, you know, we here in New Orleans call it Mardi Gras season because it's a couple of weeks of, uh, you know, doing the parades, the crews, the clubs of the parade. Let's say you came to see the parade Bacchus, okay? Well, a couple of weeks before they actually roll on the street, the actual parade, they have several functions throughout the um, the year, basically, leading up to that parade. So they have their balls, their tableaus, they, you know, introduce the court. There's like several events. That's why it's a big deal. Um, it's not just go to the parades, which you can do, but if you're a member of these crews, you have a lot to do. And my son this year um, marched in the band with his school and I marched with him. And uh, just to give you a little reference here, Bacchus was close to 19,000 steps. Seven miles, it's it's a good bit. And uh, I had my, my cameras and I like to run past everybody and get different angles and some video and I love that Fuji X H2S. I can do 4K 60 with one click of a button and uh, go right back to taking pictures. So uh, this is some behind the scenes stuff that you don't see in, unless you're, well, me. <laughs> So after the parade gets to the convention center, we wait for the rest of the parade to kind of like get in line and catch up with us. Because inside the convention center is a huge party happening, which you can buy a ticket to go to, say, the Orpheus Escapade finale. And what that means is you dress up, it's a black tie event, and you go, and there's bands on stage. There's usually one headliner. headliner. This year it was Taylor Dane. Um, well, Orpheus is Harry Connick Jr.'s crew it's his club he created Orpheus the club so he is the forever captain and uh, when he gets off of the stage when they come into the convention center he plays and then after he plays you know usually the other band that warms up plays a minute and then Taylor Dane or whoever the headliner is a few years ago when I was there it was uh, Trace Atkins very cool but this is what it looks like from behind the scenes of when we marched in with Bacchus in that same convention center. This is wild. Is like uh, we say here in New Orleans, Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras Day. For us, it's a holiday. Everybody else in the world, it's just a Tuesday. <laughs>
we just got through Mardi Gras. It, uh, it is, is now the season of Lent. Uh, I have not decided to uh, give up anything just yet. But, um, you know, life moves on. And uh, just to give you a heads up, this is my photography channel. Um, I'm in the midst of everything. I am marketing the business. I have a brand new custom website. Um, I have some big commercial jobs happening where I am doing headshots on location, um, which is really neat. I got some new tools that I'm using. I'll show you some behind the scenes of that soon. But I am a working photographer here in New Orleans. And uh, you know, Mardi Gras is just something that gives us a break with the family give us a reason to laugh and have fun and celebrate and uh, I, I love it man Mardi Gras is a big deal to New Orleans um, mainly for the tradition the traditions that we love to pass down and the family part of all of this you know uh, when you're in college and uh, high school and stuff it, it's a party I get it if you're not out of town coming here our bars don't close pretty much so I get it, it's the party part, but if you're here for the culture of who we are and why we do what we do, when you're here you'll, you'll understand, you know? So look, uh, this is some behind the scenes things to what I have been doing recently and um, I'll, I'll show you more stuff in the next video, alright? Alright you guys, les le bon temps roulé, let the good times roll.